<laughs> Good evening, everybody. This is the Board of Trustees special meeting. Today's date is 6 26 2022. It's 5 30 p.m. This is meeting number 2022 12, and we are in the lower level conference room B. Roll call, please. Mayor Borderer. Present. Trustee Stalker. Here. Trustee Desmond. Trustee Sack. Here. Trustee Pembroke. Here. Trustee Mallow. Here. And can we have a motion to allow Trustee Olenichuk to participate by phone? So moved. Second. Roll call. Trustee Stalker. Yes. Trustee Desmond. Trustee Sack. Yes. Trustee Pembroke. Yes. Trustee Mallow. Yes. Okay, Alex, you can hear, right? I can hear. Thank you. All right, uh, we're moving on to number two, the consent agenda. All items on the consent agenda are routine and brought forward at the direction of the Board of Trustees, Village Manager, or Village Committees, and will be enacted with one motion. If discussion is desired, that item will be removed from the consent agenda and considered separately. A, request Board of Trustees approval of the Zoning and Planning Commission, that was a 5-0 vote, and a recommendation for a five-lot Resubdivision with a variation from the 25 foot street footage requirements for the property at 9400 South Cicero Avenue. And B is an ordinance 221236 approving that. C, a request Board of Trustees approval of the Zoning and Planning Commission. That was a 4 0 vote. Recommendation for a C3 site plan review a variation from the exterior wall construction requirements and a variation allowing a third monument sign for the construction of a new building for Pizan's Pizza, 4900 West, 111th Street. D, Ordinance 2212-37 allows that. E, Request Board of Trustees approval of an Appeals and Review Board, that's a 5-0 vote recommendation for a 10-foot North Street side yard and a 1.3 South side yard variation to allow construction of a new single-family residence at 10200 South Colon Avenue. And F is ordinance 2212-38, allowing those variations. Is there a motion to approve? Motion to approve. A second? Second. Roll call. Trustee Stalker. Yes. Trustee Desmond. Yes. Trustee Sack. Yes. Trustee Pembroke. Yes. Trustee Mallow. Yes. Trustee Olenichuk. Yes. Thank you, Alex. Number three, discussion regarding a potential referendum expanding the scope of the village's real estate transfer tax to include transfers of controlling interests in real estate in, uh, in entities. Motion, please. I'll take that, Mayor. Yes. Yes, yeah, so the discussion. I, I provide oh, yeah. everybody with a report. In your report, under the uh, Economic yeah, Building Property Maintenance section, is a paragraph that speaks in detail about what this is. The short version is there currently is an, a loophole of sorts as it relates to transfer taxes. Um, and when it's a, a um, indirect transfer, like a corporation, somebody sets up a corporate entity to own property and then transfers that, it bypasses our normal transfer yeah. tax process. This occurred when MEPT sold the Stony Creek development recently to the new old <coughs> shop core. What ordinarily would have been a $225,000, $250,000 payment to the village did not happen. Uh, our attorneys, Klein Thorpe and Jenkins, are recommending that we proceed. It have to go through a referendum for the November 8th ballot. Uh, they are ready to go with the documentation, the paperwork. There's some processes, there's some meetings, uh, public notice. Uh, so they're just looking for some direction from the board and the manager. I'm recommending that we do this. Do we need a motion to approve it from the board? Not right now. No. Okay, so any percent. questions? No, I think that's Support. Uh, something that we absolutely have to do. I don't know how they got, uh, they were able to do that, but obviously lawyers have to be involved. And I think we're on the right track to get that corrected. I agree. Okay, we'll move on to uh, number four on the agenda is the 2022 business license renewal fee amnesty. Trustees Mallow and Trustee Sack. Yeah, Discussion? Start, if I could start, Mayor. Um, this is something that, uh, that I spoke with Trustee Sock about. And uh, after listening to your 
mayor's state of the village speech at the Oakland Hilton, um, which I reviewed again today, and, and you, you had a quote in there that basically said, and I'm going to read this from my, so I don't mess it up. Uh, the Oakland Chamber and its businesses are the engine that drives our local economy, and this view is shared by the Oakland officials. So uh, w when you said that, it kind of hit me that, you know, I, I didn't say that, but I, I wholeheartedly agree with that. Um, so when Trustee Sock came to me with this idea of, of doing something that was pro-business um, and doing something for um, the businesses of Oakland, right? So when he proposed that to us, we, we spoke with the manager and, and it seemed like it was an outstanding idea. Um, we vetted that through the uh, finance department. Um, this is uh, something that would be a $600,000 budget reduction to the revenue. So this is not pennies. This is, this is big time money that uh, we found that we were able to help our businesses out. And this is, this is true money that they get to put in their bottom line. This is not dollars that you know, they have to worry about employees or things like this. These are real dollars that would go directly into their 2022 budget. So um, th again, this is just for discussion, Mayor. We're not really looking for anything tonight other than this discussion. Um, we would have to, per, per legal, to have a resolution made up for next, uh, next meeting. Um, so the business, um, the 22 amnesty, 2022 amnesty, there's four categories that this would, uh, this would have. And one would be the biggest one, which is the business licenses. Uh, number two is the liquor licenses. Number three are the tobacco licenses. And number four are the amusement game of skill licenses. And these are the kids games at Arena Bowl, which for some reason we have licenses on. But uh, that's, that's the other license that we would um, put an amnesty on for 2022. Um, so if, if a business in Oak Lawn paid this 2022, uh, we will not be refunding. We will, we will push that to the 2023 uh, year for them to uh, receive that uh, bonus. So that's all I have. Mayor. Any other discussion? Sure. Yeah, Ralph. Um, real quickly, to build on what Paul said and one of the reasons, my, my job takes me traveling around the country and uh, I work on capital construction and maintenance and the what we're seeing out there is unprecedented. We can't, these companies can't hire construction workers. They're, they're paying $50 an hour and we're having trouble getting in. We don't want to see anything like that happen in the village here. We talk about how pro-business we are. Um, we want our businesses to thrive. We want them to stay here and we want to attract businesses to Oak Lawn. So this is just one small step in uh, helping out our Oak Lawn business owners. So we can't make a motion, but I would like to uh, request that we put this on uh, next month's meeting as, as a motion under uh, for the following meeting. That's all I have. Thank you. Any other? Yes? Yeah, I got Trustee a comment. Scott. I certainly don't want to say I'm opposed to this. I just don't know about it. $600,000 is a big chunk, and I need some backup. I assume we can get it the next couple of weeks and I, so we can be ready to vote. Uh, as soon as the next meeting occurs. So I just want more information. Okay, thank you. Any other? Alex, anything? No. Okay. Uh, I just have a little concern about the liquor licenses. Um, is it possible to be considered that we do a 50% reduction in liquor licenses um, and still continue on with this concept? Our liquor licenses are a substantial uh, number, right? Yeah, the, the aggregate is 600000 to Bud's point. If, if the concept is what is this going to cost, we've already vetted that. I think mm -hmm. the, the trustees And that includes liquor. Includes Correct. liquor. The four categories that, that Trustee Mello suggested we look at, totals projected 600000 right? Businesses can close, not renew. Uh, based on what we budgeted for 2022, the impact would be about 600000 the basis for which why this makes sense is everything that's been said, including what you said at the chamber meeting, Mayor, and the fact that we did raise our home rule tax last year. Those revenues you'll see on your report uh, are showing significant um, increases to us. The retail um, businesses have been doing well. We've been collecting. Uh, we're, we're, we're doing well. Now, all of it can change. We're all seeing the news, right? Everything can come screeching halt which is a not, not a reason I believe not to do it, it's a reason to do it because our businesses are gonna see, feel the pinch long before we do. Uh, so when Trustees Mallow and Sock talked about this idea, uh, I was 
complete agreement with it as it relates to how much and what types that's clearly a board decision and just the discussions among you and what we should or shouldn't do right I think I think mayor you know we talk about Chapel Guan you know from the past mayor and, and you've continued that that process with with this step which is even like I said actual dollars that are going into businesses uh, bottom line so I think this is and, and it's, this isn't forever this is a one-year 2022 amnesty um, and, and, and you know as trustee stock mentioned I think we, we look at what else is there what else we can do to help businesses come to Oakland because at the end of the day they're they're what drives this village anything else so per your request but and others will have more detailed uh, information prior to next month appreciate that thank you uh, when I when I gave that state of the uh, village speech uh, my concept at the time was a reduced fee for Oaklawn businesses within the chamber not a total reduction this takes it to the next step but I'm not opposed to that if financially we can do this for our business Tom so right. I'd certainly like to see those numbers it, before it, the it's vote an, uh, it's an excellent point I don't mean to cut you off but exactly to your point we thought it would be an excellent way to bring more people to the chamber right you did both, mention that bring both more through people this in. idea and that forgivable loan program we're also working on okay helping drive membership in the chamber and people who register on, with us okay so it's all tied together well let's thank you guys that's a rather novel concept I know that many towns their businesses license are are pretty cheap I think Crestwood they charge one dollar hmm. for a regular business license uh, yeah, so that, in towns where they have more businesses than people they can afford to do yeah that. that's a good point yeah. that's a good and, point and, and to that point though I think you're very uh, right on the path of what can we do especially when you talk about liquor licenses those tend to be the businesses that provide us with the most sources of revenue restaurant revenue video gaming revenue liquor sales revenue normal business fees are pretty cheap 75 to 100 dollars right. Um, right so absolutely it would be you know biased in favor of those because they're paying the most um, but we'll have more details for the next well week. great anything else okay we'll move on to uh, number five which is executive session 2022-10 for the purpose of discussing one approval of uh, closed meeting minutes dated 2022-09 June 7th 2022 and information regarding the appointment employment compensation discipline performance or dismissal of a specific employee or employees of the village motion please so second. second roll call trustee stalker yes trustee desmond yes trustee sack yes trustee pembroke yes trustee mallow yes trustee olenichuk yes a motion approved thanks for coming out i think your trip here was longer than the meeting <laughs> but a lot of valuable information today here thank you thank you thank you, thank you. there you go